and uh, we are in charge of this capacity nationwide and today we are here in Gori County uh, and we are training about 100 and, uh, 100, 150 uh, persons in uh, various aspects of tourism. We've invited uh, the Kenya Association of Hotel Keepers and Caterers, they are here. We've invited the Tourism Professional Association, they are here. Uh, we also have the uh, Migori County uh, Tourism Association that are here. And of course, the, uh, the hotel owners, the hotel staff, uh, and generally the stakeholders in the hospitality industry. And this training is important because uh, globally, one of the most important aspects of the hospitality industry is uh, service quality. And service quality is, in essence, is what brings a client back to an establishment. In Western, the Western circuit, which, as you correctly put, that uh, has either to be uh, comparatively not has been ex has not been explored uh, as other areas in, in, in Kenya. And if you start from Mount Elgo and come all the way down to Muru Bay. And you can think about the world of things that a visitor can see. Apart from the Roman National Park, people join in, there's so many people. So what we are doing, uh, what we are doing as a, as a state coalition is that we are seriously considering a new tourism products. So that it is not that it is not just the traditional beach, city, and safari. And this is an area that where, uh, as tourism fund, we are, we are now going to focus on uh, earnestly, so that we, we can have each region having unique tourism or hospitality offerings. Mm. So that somebody can come specifically to the Western circuit because they want to see the Rowan antelope in Truman National Park. Mm. They can come because they want to see Tim Lichovenga, which does not exist. The next place it exists is probably in Zimbabwe. And there are many others, that, you know, we're talking about the Kajulu Hills, we're talking about the, the many rivers that pour into, into Lake Victoria, we're talking about the beaches. If, for instance, if you go to Takawiri, Takawiri Island has white sand. It has, it, it's, you can't differentiate. If you are dropped there in the middle of the night and you woke up, you'd think you're in Diani. Uh, for now, we have ambitious programs. Like one, we have discussed with our members. Uh, we have partnered with the University of Rongo tourism department so that they can train uh, us in the, in the hospitality management and business management and we are going to start this program very soon so that uh, our people are equipped with knowledge on how to manage uh, the business that we are doing. We also have ambitious program that we want to sell Migori to make Migori as a tourist attraction center. And uh, in so doing, we are going to partner with the Rongo University, county government, department of tourism, uh, and a tourism fund, uh, so that we come up with activities that uh, are going to promote tourism, both local and uh, national and international. Thimuli Choinka is one of the most uh, attractive tourist centers, very historical, and as I said, uh, we'll be, as an association, we'll be discussing with the tourism department and also even not only make it a tourist attraction, but also as a research center uh, through the University of Rongo, because we need to know who built it, what was the purpose, which year, so that that his, 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 uh, history can go into generations. And I believe that once we come up with that uh, uh, partnership program, we'll be able to make Timuli Chewinga another uh, attractive tourist attraction. Now, I'd like to point out that Migori is a majestic country. It has a county. It has um, a world UNESCO World Heritage Site, which is a very rare status to get, but it's not utilized. We have issues of poor infrastructure going to this uh, site, so people can't get there. We have other attractions like Mugabo Beach in Mihuru Bay, and there we have things like rock art, which was drawn by the Stone Age thousands and thousands of years ago. These are things that are a marvel for people to, to come and see. We have sandy beaches, white beaches, like the ones you have in Lamu and Mombasa and Migori. The only place you find white beaches is Migori. 
We have Migingo, so you can have fishing expeditions. There's a lot to offer in Migori. But we, we also have issues. One issue we have is that the government invested over 100 million shillings in our airport, but it has not started operating. It lacks a few things. The runway has been paved. It doesn't have a, departure, a depa uh, arrival and a departure launch. It doesn't have toilets. It has not been commissioned. So we would like the government to help us realize its investment. So most this airport is July. People are coming. Commercial aircrafts like Kenya Airways are not operating to Migori. And a lot of people are going to Kisumu and they come down by, uh, by taxi to Migori. So if, they could, if we could open up this airport, which has already been paid, we'll find that business increase. We'll find people coming. So I request the government to open up KAA, airlines. We welcome you to Bigori. Every single day, we have 30 buses, every one hour, and the uh, Nissan, which, which come to Bigori. So in a day, we have over 3,000, but traveling by, traveling by bus is inconvenient. So help us to open Bigori some good things happening. We have seen what uh, Tourism uh, Fund is doing. Mm -hmm. They have given us this uh, opportunity to interact. This industry is over 10 different licenses. That's what we are trying to tell them. Tell them. We need to streamline, rationalize, the, ra rationalize this, these licenses. We appreciate the efforts and what we like now is Tourism Fund is now working with us. They are listening to us. They are giving us courses. So we are very enlightened by the new leadership in Tourism Fund. And the workers there are giving us lots of new knowledge of how to do things. They have brought today wine uh, testing, whereby we learn what are the latest wines which uh, tourists want. And uh, these, are, these are new products that we are going to offer. We also intend to have a, a festival and we are going to work with the county. We have our county officials here and the, our trade officials. And we've worked together. They helped us during the COVID. And uh, together, we want to work together, five, hand in hand. We have a very good rapport between the county and the, and the, and the industry. So I, I cannot say too much about it, but uh, want, we, we as our hotel and our association want to welcome you, welcome all the visitors. Bigori is a good people, it's a good place. Karibu sana.